Hey, what's going on guys? So today, we got a flashlight. Got a clip in my pocket here. This is a Nightcore EDC 25. Pretty cool light, this is my first impressions. I just got out of the mail, been playing it for like, well, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. Uh, this actually got on recommendation through a video from DOF, which is Defender of Freedom, which is Paul. Uh, if you guys don't know Paul, Paul's been around YouTube forever. He's one of the OG guys. I mean, definitely more of a gun channel, but he loves gear, he loves knives, good taste and all kinds of stuff. Um, he made a video on why it's good to have a, uh, a good flashlight. And he showed this Nightcore EDC 25 in the video, and I was very intrigued. So I got one to try out. So I kind of like these flat flashlights. They're just different. I don't know. I mean, when I just put this in my pocket for like two seconds, but it carries so nicely in the pocket because I love large flashlights. But when you're talking about even an 18650 sized flashlight or a 21700, when that's in the pocket, it's a tube. It's a big tube. There's no other way to put it. Um, having a ton of power, but in a flat profile, it just carries really nice. I mean, I've had some of my first uh, flat flashlight, but uh, this one's pretty neat. I just like the, the features on it. It's got two little dual head action there. Let me show you that a little better. See the LEDs in there. All right, the little reflectors. So I also like the indicators quite a bit. So we have two buttons on top, right? We have a power button, which you can half press to just check the power. All right, so we have full power on here. Let me show you that a little better because I'm not looking at the camera. All right, so they're 25% increments. That's obviously 25 on the bottom, 50, 75, 100. So we're fully charged. This is the output uh, amount or level. So right now it's at the lowest because we are at the lowest, all right? So just a soft half press and we have that lowest output. <clears throat> if you push in and click, all right, then you're just doing a half press for each mode. So low, medium, high, turbo. All right, push all the way in and click to shut it off. At any point in time, the big button is just turbo mode. It's just everything it's got, which is quite bright. I can't, you know, I'm obviously doing a flashlight video in the middle of the day, which seems silly, but I want you to see the details of light. Uh, this thing lights up what you need to light up. I promise you that. Um, so the indicators are really cool. The flat um, profile is super, super cool. There's a little knurling on the sides here. All right, so depending on how you want to hold this, um, obviously the buttons on the back so reverse grip is, is you know preferred for most people but once you turn it on uh, you could just change positions you know but yeah I mean it's just it's a really really cool light uh, again the indicators are awesome I'm really really huge fan of that but mostly this profile the profile and this really big beefy clip by the way this has a huge pot clip on it all right sorry about that uh, UPS dropped off the package uh, anyway on the back here you do have information on the lockout all right, there's a half lockout, a full lockout, and then also to unlock when you first get this out of the package, it is gonna be a lockout mode. So to unlock it, short press and then hold uh, long press. So this top button here, the power button, you're gonna do a half press and then push and hold. That'll unlock it, all right? And then also we have the battery information, 3.7 volt, 1700 milliamp hour internal battery on this. So yeah, I mean, it's just uh, initial impressions are very good. Super cool light, super bright. I mean, even in the day, like I said, to be able to see a flashlight nice and bright like this, I mean, we have full sun right now. So it is definitely uh, gonna take care of business for most applications of a flashlight. But yeah, I just wanna give uh, Paul a little shout out. Back in the day, Paul was H4T, Humans for Targets. Uh, changed the name, <laughs> probably because of YouTube. You know, you know how YouTube goes, right? But if you watch him back in the day, I mean, he still very much makes content, still very much, um, you know, sharing some of the coolest firearms there are. He's got, like I said, fantastic taste and gear and stuff. So check him out. He's now Defender of Freedom here on YouTube. But I just want to give him a little shout out because I didn't know this existed uh, until he talked about it. And now I got one and I love it. I think it's pretty neat. So even though I generally EDC smaller single AAA or single AA flashlights uh, in my organizer, I definitely want to integrate this uh, in the future, especially for a work environment. Um, I do want more capability of light and stuff. So I do like the features. And again, because this carries so well, this might be a, a really, you know, big go-to for me in the future for work. So anyway, that's all. Thanks again, Paul. Love the content, love the videos. And uh, this is what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll make a video on something and someone's like, cool, I didn't know it exists. And then they try it out. 
and if someone else makes a better video about something you guys watch all these different people and all these different videos and there's just a lot of cool gear out there way too much to uh to just know it all so anyway that's it for now hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video take care